पीपीटी विथ ऑडियो What does spirituality mean? That is the question. That which relates to the spirit and the experience of the spirit is spirituality. Because spirit and matter are two different things. Our body is material and the spirit dwelling in this body is spiritual. So whatever Raised to this spirit within us is spiritual. We must think, feel, and realize hmm, that we are not merely bodies, but we are the mortal spirit. Many people go with the impression that they are only the visible appearance. That is a body made up of the five elements. It's not so. There is a spirit within us. It is that spirit that makes us walk, talk, and do everything. Now, for instance, people think when they give and receive with the hands that they are doing these movements and uh, these actions themselves, as if they have got an ind independent power to do these things. There are so many movements, changes that are going on within the body, such as the action of the digestive organs within it, the blood circulation, the growing of the hair. We cannot say these things are done by me. Can we say, I am doing these things? Who is responsible for these movements within us? The same power which is Responsible for these inner movements is responsible also for our outer movements. You see the wind blow, the sun giving light, the trees grow, and the birds sing on the trees. So many movements, changes are going on around about us. They are not separate movements caused by any power individual in them working accidentally or by chance or as they say due to the conquest of atoms or some such sort thing of they explain away in order to deny the existence of a spiritual power that permeates the entire universe and is responsible for all movements and changes in it. That all pervading poverty that makes us act, talk, do everything. If we recognize this universal power and know that that power is responsible for what we do, then our ego will disappear and we will be one with universal life and universal truth and we will be supremely happy and free. So long as this ego is in us, which makes us feel that we are doing everything by ourselves, we are caught in a trap and we can never be happy. So we have been asked to design ourselves with the will of God. Will is nothing but the power of God active in nature, active in ourselves. By the surrendering of ourselves to the divine power of will, we release within us that supreme bliss and peace which is locked up through the assertion of the ego, the assertion of the individual will, the so People have asked him often, what about the free will and the, how does it stand in relation to the divine will? So really there is no free will. There is only divine will working everywhere. It's a mistake to think we have got any power to do anything. In the Bhagavad Gita, there is a sloka in which God says, It is my 
ruling and power that prevails in the entire world. I move this world being myself, causing all movements in it, all changes in it. And so he is at the inception, at the growth of things, and at the destruction of things. It's one power that does all these things in the universe. And if we submit to that power and know that that power is active in us, then we will be free from the ego. And that moment we realize that we are the unchanging, mortal, all pervading, spiritual, um, universal truth and spirit. To know that we are that spirit is to live in God. And this is spirituality. Papa is trying to make us aware of what exactly is the spirit. If we talk about the spirit, it becomes theoretical. But if he talks about something that is ex expressed, we will be able to easily understand. The power behind this very talking, the power behind this very seeing, the power behind this very hearing, the very power be which makes us to know that we are, you know, all these are highly subjective. But immediately Papa points out, you know, yes, today we had our breakfast. By this time the digestion has taken place, idli or upma or whatever we have, it is not in the same form. Which power has processed it? What is needed for the mind, sorry, what is needed for the body, what is needed for the blood, what is needed for the bone. And when what is not needed by any of these are formed as stools and urine, and then an urge comes to purge out. This we know very well now. Every day we remember the respiratory organs, the heartbeat, the blood circulation. These are something we can easily understand. We know that we are not doing it. So when Ajay uh, Papa keeps on telling that while we cheap, while we chant, we should know that he is within. He is within. And he also said the power, power, power. Subtle and mysterious power, that is the definition he has given for Ram. And in order that we try to understand it, he is trying to bring out something which we can easily locate. Because only through that expression we will be have some clarity. Otherwise, it will again become, you know, uh, in an imaginary, in a conceptual level. All these years we have been doing it, but still the me and mine is intact because we have not recognized the role of spirit behind the sense of individuality. So through this uh, PPT or video, Papa is just reminding, when we say in quest of God, that God is within, He is in the form of spirit. Unless we... Realize him within, we may not be able to realize him without. So through this wonderful talk, this is something for all of us, you know, as a food for thought. He is within me, how do I understand? He also says, ah, free will, individual will. Now we know if the, if the, the spirit is not there, this, this sense of individuality becomes a dead person. Na? That is why when the doctor comes and certifies that he is dead, what does he do? We try to understand. He immediately pulses his second, no. Then he draws something, blood circulation is not there. He takes the torch and puts it, no winking, and knows. So these are all some of the signs by which the indwelling spirit is identified. So. That is why he says life is the expression of Atman. Jeevanam Sarvabhuteshu. Life is the expression of Atman, which we can easily understand. 
So today, Papa wanted all of us to register this in our mind deeply, so that what we are chanting now in the Bhagavad Gita is we are trying to understand the spirit within us. That is why he said, we are ch chanting the name of one who is within us, who is making me to chant. If the life force is not there, how can the chanting take place? 